Greetings, greetings, beautiful people. How are you today? I hope you're well. Dr. Dominique here, owner of Reese Financial Services, where I'm the chief financial coach, strategist, and consultant. And I am full. <laughs> I am so full. God is amazing. Um, you know how things happen, life happens, and then you get focused? Well, maybe you don't know, but there's a journey and then things happen and you get focused. <laughs> I'll share more about that in another video. But today, the focus, the clarity is truly around black women's wealth. And I am more fired up than ever. You know, I've been reading, I've been studying. There's so much happening. Thank you, Father, that you keep my mind. There's so much happening. And the assignment is very, getting very clear. Another video, manager words. Okay, so the focus today is on black women's wealth. 50% of black women are not invested in the stock market. And you may say, okay, that's good. That's half. But I mean, that's literally one of two. So either you or me, or you or me, <laughs> right? One of us are not invested. So I ask you to ask yourself that question. The next time you're with your girlfriend, your best friend, your sister, your mother, your aunt, your cousin, your coworker, who you cool with, <laughs> you know, when you're around someone you care about. Consider who's invested in the stock market and who's not. And you may know the answer because it may be you, <laughs> right? It may be you. And so I've been working on this concept, this idea i'm i'm careful of my words managing my words because it's real i've had the vision i've seen it and the results from it are significant and i got a little glimpse yesterday into how real this statistic is and i've served women previous clients who were making great money, making great money, you know, 80, 90, 100, 120 thousand dollars. That is, let's be, manage your words. Let's be very clear, right? Like, oh, a hundred thousand donkeys? No. A <laughs> hundred thousand pennies? No. A hundred thousand dollars. You know, eighty thousand dollars, ninety thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, a hundred and twenty thousand dollars for a salary on up. And some even less, $30,000, $40,000, $50,000, $60,000, $70,000. $70, you know, I tend to work with women from about $35,000 to $125,000 in income. Debt, you know, some savings to no savings. Um, and the sweet spot is really 27 to 54, which is interesting. Um, and I'm, how old am I? I'm 38. So I'm right in there, right? So, so you, you may see yourself in what I'm describing. And again, I ask, are you one of the two? And if so, which one are you, right? You're one of the two, but which one are you? Are you invested or are you not invested? And I've been seeing lately a desire. I'm, I'm getting a few more consultations booked around investing I said thank you father because if you don't know now you know because I'm about to tell you but you know I'm shifting my business is shifting Dominique is shifting Dr. Dominique is shifting mom Dominique is shifting <laughs> my whole life is shifting thank you father and I mean I'm 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 so focused on serving properly. 
and I go to sleep and I wake up and the same thing is on my mind. Black women's wealth. Go to sleep, wake up, black women's wealth. The statistics. What I know, who I know. I can't shake it. So I'm like, all right, I understand. I know how he gets at me. And I've been praying on things. I've been asking for guidance. I've been taking action. And what I'm being led to and the decision I think that's coming up is we're ready. We lead in a lot of other ways. We lead in education, that is in getting educated. We lead, I just lost my thought, <laughs> um, in starting businesses. We lead our households. We are leaders. We're already leading. We're not necessarily leading from the front financially. We're not necessarily leading from the front financially. Now, we're making a lot more money. That is true. Just rattled the numbers, right? We're making the money and we're still not leading from the front financially. And I'm excited about it because I am ready to take on that challenge. And knowing all that I know, having lived through my own financial ups and downs, you know, quarter million dollar net worth, negative net worth, <laughs> ran the gamut, right? Helping millionaires preserve their millions, helping homeless individuals create stability financially, run the gamut. There's so much to know. And there's so much I don't know because I'm also in my wealth build. So I seek those who are a few steps ahead of me. And that's what this journey is about. It's about seeking that which is a few steps ahead of you. You've got yourself to a place that's pretty good, right? You're making decent income. You're managing to the best that you can. You've got tons of responsibilities and you're ready for the next level, but you may not know what it looks like. You know, if 50% of us are not investing, that begs the question, why? There's Google, there's Robinhood, right? What's up? Why aren't we? Tell me in the comments, why aren't we investing? What's your fear? What What is it that's holding you back? And this, no matter what it is, right, it can be overcome. And so what I'm learning is it's really tough to create that which you don't see, especially when you're the pioneer. So I thought, well, what would it look like to bring together a group of pioneers? So one, they can see each other. They can see each other. Maybe that'll take some of the burden off because you've got like-mindedness and a common goal. And there's action. There's no convincing. There's no one lagging. Everyone's focused on a common goal. Individual pursuits of a common goal in a safe space, financially. And so I'm thinking, you know, this... I haven't been invited to anything like this, you know. I'm a financial educator, financial coach. I've been a financial advisor, financial planner. No one's invited me to anything like that. Why? I don't know. And so I'm the visionary who creates what I don't see. And I'm the businesswoman who meets a need when I see it. And so it's statistics like this, but it's lived experiences like I've just described that, hey, we got we to gotta create it. We have to build what we don't see. And then we have to use it and, and use it as a means to facilitate the goal. And the goal for me is to live in a world 
for every black woman leader, professional and entrepreneur, has a net worth of at least $100,000 so that she can take advantage of any opportunity to serve herself, her family, and her community. And I believe in that. I wake up with that on my mind. I go to sleep with it on my mind. And I imagine what that world is going to look like. But for me, I also see the benefits. The benefits of what a world would look like when you know 10 other women with a net worth of at least $100,000. What would that be like? You know what I'm saying? Net worth of at least $100,000. Some people say, well, that's small potatoes. That ain't nothing. Well, you know what? If you've reached that place, great. You should come and teach us. If not, you should just manage your words. <laughs> but if you if if you're not there yet, this this might be your opportunity. This might be your opportunity to be like, for real, for real, I am ready. And having a community, an intimate community where you have the safe space to learn, to make mistakes, to ask questions, and then to exchange ideas. So, so often I have an idea and I realize who, I don't have anybody to share that with. Or the, the few, the few <laughs> who I would share that with, maybe I can't reach them that day. Right. And then the next day comes and the next day has its own things. So you move on. Right. May come back to it. But a consistent exchange of ideas, a consistent meeting of the mind, a consistent space to work and take action on your financial life for a commitment of 52 weeks and really 40. 40. 40 is a powerful number. And so when I think about being in a financial wilderness, I'm like, huh, what would it look like to take 40 weeks to get out of that wilderness? What would it look like to transform my financial life? Because everything I put out, I do, <laughs> you know? So I'm a part of this journey. I, I mean... My next level looks a certain way. Your next level looks a certain way. But we've got some common things to work on. We've got some common areas that are very important to us. And so I wonder, what would it look like to transform financial lives over a 40-week period with consistent action, consistent education, consistent mentorship, and then... Just consistent management, right? You're getting your mindset developed, you're, you're managing, and you're producing. What would that look like? And then what would those outcomes be? Definitely have some of the milestones, but what would that look like for you to completely transform your current financial life over the next 40 weeks we're only in the second week of february you do the math 40 weeks to completely transform your financial life i am quite excited about that i am very excited about it actually because it, it doesn't need to take a whole lot of time and god willing we've got 40 weeks so what are we waiting for? <laughs> what are we waiting for? 50% of us are not invested in the stock market. You know how long that's been around? Right? And then those of us who are parents, what are we demonstrating? We talk about generational wealth, but listen, if you've never seen it built, it's just talk. You say you want to be the one who builds it. Well, what you waiting for? right? What are you waiting for? So I would say nothing. I would say it's time. If anything, 
start start thinking start transitioning your mind for what it looks like to take the next step towards it this community that i speak of could this be your opportunity could this be the moment you say yes to a a transformation of your financial life could this be an opportunity to begin to build generational wealth even though you you didn't have it built for you necessarily so you don't necessarily know what it looks like and you know all you need to do is to start taking the next step start taking the next step step by step right brick by brick builds a brick wall and if you just pay attention to the next brick and putting it where it belongs, right? When you look up, you will have a wall. That's how I think about what we're building, building wealth. If you just keep taking the actions and putting your dollars where they need to go, you look up, you've amassed a certain amount of wealth. And the focus here is really about net worth. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that over the next few days. Net worth is an elevated financial game. A lot of us have been so focused on income and expenses that we're losing time creating assets and liabilities. That's the net worth game. And a net worth game is an elevated financial game. It's like graduating from income and expenses and budgeting to assets, liabilities, and net worth statements. We still have to do this work, the income, expense, and budgeting, to get to the assets, liabilities, and net worth. And if we keep our focus here on the assets, liabilities, and net worth, will know what to do with the income and expenses and budgeting. It's almost counterintuitive, right? You think about that, it's kind of counterintuitive. Like, why would I focus on that if I need to get this right? Well, that's the end game. <laughs> this is the end game. That's a means to an end. Budgeting income expenses is the means to assets, liabilities, and net worth. So they go hand in hand. And you do have to work on one and position self to be able to graduate to the other. But one is the end game and the other is the means to an end. And so that's what I want to cultivate. I want to cultivate this community. I'm going to be a part of it as well. But we're going to have the people leading us to our promised land, if you will, which to each woman is her own destiny, right? You have a vision of where you want to be financially. You know what that looks like. But I'm also elevating us in our financial leadership, right? We lead in education, we lead in starting businesses, but we're not leading financially from the front. And as breadwinners, as caretakers, as wealth builders, and as problem solvers, we gotta lead from the front. You know, it, it always comes back to us financially. So that's an area I would love to support us in. I mean, I'm already doing that work through my business, right? If you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, you can. But this isn't one-on-one, -on -one, and this is not group coaching. Let me be clear. This is not group coaching. This is a community of individual women who are raising their hand to say, yes, I want to pursue that, and I want to do it in community. And so each woman will have her private coaching, her private wealth mentorship. That will stay private. But what becomes communal is the experience, the education, 
the application and then we'll go places <laughs> you know building wealth is an action it's very activity field you got to do things that includes going places because part of that is the exposure it's being able to see what it is you're working towards and then experiencing it part of the secrets of the million millionaire mind are one to envision that which you want as if you have it but then to strategically place yourself in those environments so you can begin to experience it before you're fully there. And so I know when I've done that, and there's so many hacks, there's so many hacks, but when I have done that consistently, I think it was for 25 days and I positioned myself as the woman I wanted to be in terms of a wealthy woman, and I did these actions from a mentor of mine it it just elevated me it it took me to another level mentally because everything starts in the mind it's almost like i transformed myself into her even though my bank account didn't reflect as many zeros as i'm working towards <laughs> i felt her i felt the feeling so that's part of the transition is to get your mind there first remember be do have if you want to be a woman of wealth, you got to think like a woman of wealth. You got to feel it. You got to believe it. And that's part of the mind transformation. That's part of the renewing of our minds. That's how transformation occurs, right? We are transformed by the renewing of our mind. So we have to renew our mind set about who we are. We're currently operating as a but once we transform our mind or renew our mind the transformation occurs and now we begin to operate as b so the b do have part now we're doing things in our newer self that then will give us the things that we want to have so i am getting very fired up about the vision it's becoming more plain as I share it, I'm getting positive feedback. I have women asking questions about it and that's always a good sign because that means they're interested. Listen, as long as there's interest, we are on to something. But I'm confident, I'm confident that there are at least 20 women who, who want this and who will see this as an opportunity to transform their financial life and to come out of it ready for the next level right this is a lifelong journey i don't believe there's a destination financially i do believe that there's a foundation to lay and once the foundation is laid then you can begin to build on it and for some of us, laying the foundation may take longer than others. But even in this community, we get to that, right? We're not skipping the steps. We can't just be ambitious <laughs> and build on quicksand. <laughs> we got to do things in order, everything in divine order. So in doing that, the foundation will be laid. It will be made solid so that you know if anything happens, at least your foundation is in place, right? You don't have to keep starting over financially, starting over, this came through, this happened, this fell through. Now I got to start over financially. That was something that I just hated. I hated that, you know? This came, it was all good, and then this went away, and then it was like, oh, I got to start over again. I got to start over again. That's the journey. Everything in divine order. And there comes a point where you mature out of that space and you don't have to do that anymore because you lay a solid foundation. And once that's laid, now you can begin to build on top of it. And that's what the community is going to do. It's going to lay the foundation and then collectively we build on top of that. 
And what we're building are the things that you may not know or see, you know, like wealth through art, wealth through real estate, wealth through business and ownership and entrepreneurship. I mean, we see some of that, but again, in your network, in your group of 10, the 10 people who are the closest to you, who do you know doing those things? And are you a part of it or are you just witnessing it, right? You see it, but you may not be doing it. You may not be invited to do it. No one's asking you to partner with them. No one's asking you to go in and pull your money. Maybe no one's asking you anything. And then maybe you don't see it. You just see others who are not a part of your network. Like you can go find someone like, oh, that's what they do. That's what they do. Or that's what they're doing. But they're not in your immediate network. You can't necessarily tap them. Maybe you can and you haven't. But the goal is to have a network, be a part of a network in a community where you do see it. And you now know, okay, I have an invest I have a I have a deal right now on in my email. A deal right now to own a cash flowing business. And it was presented to me. I'm gonna present it to our investment club. And I thought, wow, what if I presented this deal to the community of women and because they all know we're all building together, there's a level of confidence that, hey, we could probably partner and do this. It's not a whole lot of money. So $2,500 to get a, a, a equity stake in the business and the business is a cash flowing business. Let's go. That's five women pooling $500, <laughs> right? You know how we spend $500? <laughs> how quickly we could spend $500? Let alone invest $500? So now you spread your risk. Your risk is diversified. And you, you're you pooling. You're like a mini private equity fund, essentially. So it's these concepts. And that's another one. How do you start in a private equity fund? How do you become an angel investor? Like, those are the, how do you create a foundation? We're going to talk more about that and stuff the wealthy do. So this is the community. And I'm like, if 50% of us are not invested in the stock market, and that's just one, one way to invest, we have got to get on it. We're getting on our businesses. We're getting on our education. And we're always leading in our households. It is time that we lead financially from the front. And listen, I create what I don't see, but more importantly, I see it here. And the last time I saw something here and I went for it, it worked. The Black Women's Investment Club is a thing. We're a private investment club here in LA, black women, nine of us, and that's what we do. And we've been doing it since February, 2020. So, I am highly confident that this next vision that I see is real and that there will be 20 women who say, that's me. And I ain't gonna wait no more. <laughs> this is my time, you know, and I don't have to do it alone. And I'll have the accountability. I'm like all the things that we lack when we try to go for something like this and then we fall off because of all the things, right? That's what's going to be built in to make sure we don't fall off and that we achieve our goal, 40 weeks to transform our financial life. And it will be intense because it's new, it's different, you're taking on a new behavior. But ultimately, every every quarter, you're going to see the result. You're going to see the result every quarter. Your financial life will change every quarter. So the motivation to stay focused, to stay stay in the game, to achieve the goal is there. 
is built in based on the milestones that we will achieve along the way. So go ahead and, you know, think about that. Which one are you? If one of two of us are invested in the stock market, which one are you? And even if you are invested, what's next? What's your level up? What does it look like? Begin to see it here, be it here. And then the do part could be joining this community, could be managing better. I mean, there's so many, there's so many ways the do part manifests. But for someone listening who's like, well, I think the do part is the community <laughs> because it has all the elements that I'm going to need. That's a great way to do, to show up for yourself and then again, not have to do it alone. We're so used to doing things alone. We don't have to though. And we get together for a lot of things, but not too many of us are getting together to just do money. So think about it. Think about what that would look like for you to commit 40 weeks to transforming your financial life and coming out of that having hit some hell of a milestones, savings in the five figures, investing, learning about art, creating your portfolio, setting up your investment accounts, um, investing, um, learning about real estate, possibly purchasing. Like the goal is not to just accumulate all the stuff in 40 weeks. That's not the goal. The goal is to get on track, again, build that foundation, and then position yourself. And everybody's in a different situation. All 20 women won't be at the same level. There will be levels to this, but the milestones are the same. So what we're working towards, we're gonna be hitting those milestones together, but it might look different for you. Maybe someone will be trying to hit, you know, a thousand where you trying to hit 5,000. Maybe you're trying to hit 10,000. Maybe somebody else is hitting, you know, seven or three. So while the personal situations are look different, the milestones are the same. And I'm, I'm building this out. I'm really excited about it, but everything and every, not but, and everything in divine order. So there's no rush, you know, I'm just excited to get it out. Like, I've done this before. So this time it's a little different and it's very impactful. It's to combat that statistic that 50% of us are not invested in the stock market. So this is really for those who say, well, that's me. <laughs> if it's one out of two, I'm the one who's not. That's who this is for, really. Because if you have invested in the stock market, I don't know how you've done it. I don't know if it was, if you've done it and then you're not doing anything else. You know, maybe you still need this community and that's great. That's great too, because it's, it's for you too. And I think you can benefit just as much, but something got you there. So if something got you to the point where you were able to invest on your own, then you could possibly get yourself to the next step but if you can't, then say yes. Say yes to this. Say yes to this. But if you haven't, if you are the one who's like, yeah, that, that's me. I'm not invested. I could be. Maybe I should be. But I'm not. <laughs> I've got the money. But it's going to other places. <laughs> Let's get it going here. Where do I start? How do I make that happen? What does that look like for me? Then this could be the community for you. So think about it, not too long, but think about it and then begin to think about the solution. How, how do you change it? And if you think this community could be a good fit for you, click the link, get on the waiting list, you know, check out the little bit of information that's already there. And soon and very soon, you will get another email telling you more about, all right, it's coming. Here we go. Here's the next step. And that next step is basically just going to be the application. The application is being built right now. Because again, it's not for everyone. So it's something that 
you got to be serious about but at the same time I'm going to know everyone in there and so this is my way of getting to know you and helping you decide if it's a good fit for you or not so that's the next step is to basically just share more information uh, as it's fully built and then the application will come out then there will be an interview process and then we will we will launch we will launch the incubator it's called choose wealth a woman's wealth incubator and that's what we're going to do we're going to incubate wealth we are going to nurture it develop it grow it define it define it nurture it grow it develop it and coming out of this incubator you will experience another level of self-sufficiency experience another level of freedom uh, experience what it's like to lay the groundwork for generational wealth so I'm quite excited about that and I'm honored that you're listening so that you can determine if this is going to be good for you or not all right my time's up have a great night beautiful people peace